Hey guys, Naz here. So for today's video is another nutrition and dietetics related na video. Since I get a lot of comments about this topic, so why not make a video out of it? Our topic today is what are the references that we use in first year and second year BSND. Yung mga references na to na babanggitin ko are the references that we use in USD. So if may ginamit kayong iba sa ibang parts sa Philippines, just comment and down below para malaman din na iba. Para malaman ko rin. Share, share. Sharing is caring. Yeah. So, this will be in favor of the incoming freshies and incoming second years. Since sa mga incoming third year, wala akong alam kung ano yung mga references na gagamitin natin because I'm also incoming third year student. All the references that I'll be telling you will be in the description box below. Yung title ng book, yung edition niya, and yung author. So yung mga edition ng books na sinasabi ko, well, some of the books have edition. Baka may makita kayong mas updated, mas maganda. Without further ado, let's get started. So, no first year, first time namin, we have subjects such as biochemistry, basic food, and anatomy and physiology. Tsaka minors. Yung mga books sa minors kasi, binibili yun sa USD. Sa biochemistry, ang ginamit ko kasi na book is yung Harper's Illustrated Biochemistry, 28th edition by Murray and others. Nandiyan naman na yung mga need na aralan. Protein, nucleic acid, carbohydrates, lipids. So, next is yung basic foods. Yung ginamit na basic foods is yung Understanding Food Principle and Preparation by Amy Brown, 4th edition. I also use The Science of Cooking by Stuart Faramon. Ito kasi may mga illustration kasi ito eh. So, sobrang cute. Tsaka, medyo mas madaling intindihin. Next is yung Anatomy and Physiology. Ang ginamit namin na book dyan is yung Essentials of Human Anatomy and Physiology by Elaine Marieb. Lahat ng body system is diniscuss namin sa anatomy and physiology. So, next is yung first year, yung first year, second sem. So, yung first year, second sem namin, yung topics namin, ay yung subjects namin is micro microbiology and parasitology, basic nutrition, and minors. We also have basic foods sa, se, sa first year, second sem. Same references lang naman ginagamit. Sa microbiology and parasitology, Bumili ako ng book sa book sale ng Microbiology and Introduction by Tortora Funk as in F-U-N-K-E and Case. Um, binili ko yun sa book sale. Wala na siya sa akin ngayon. Nasa pinsan ko na siya. Kasi ma-microbio siya. Um, next is yung basic nutrition. Dito medyo marami-rami yung references na ginagamit namin since we have menu planning computation din so, we use sa lecture yung Understanding Nutrition by Whitney and Rolfs, 14th edition. Yung ganyan ko kasi nasa dorm, so hindi ko mapapakita yung actual na itsura niya. So, nandiyan na actually lahat. Pero kasi yung Understanding Nutrition is more of a generalized version. Yung Understanding Normal and Clinical Nutrition by Whitney, Rolfs, and Pina, ito yung mas detailed version. Yan, ginagamit rin namin. Then, we also use sa basic nutrition yung Philippine Dietary Reference Intake or PDRI. Meron kasi dyan mga discussion about carbohydrates, protein, fats, vitamins and minerals, water, kanyan. Tsaka nandyan din yung mga REI, RNI, or yung recommended energy intake, recommended nutrient intake, Acceptable macronutrient distribution range nandiyan din. So, nandiyan lahat sa PDRI. Then, we also use the food exchange list. Diyan kami nagbe-base ng mga household ano? household measurements. Kasi meron dyan. One cup, half cup, ganyan. For five grams. Nandiyan siya. Yun kasi yung ginamit namin. May updated version na ng food exchange list. Meron nung printed so medyo magulo siya. Yung updated version na FEL is more more detailed. Then we also use the food composition table. Nasa dorm ko yung food composition table. Kapag naiwan nyo somewhere, yung food composition table nyo, like sa dorm, sa bahay, ganyan. 
we we could use the Phil FCT sa IFNRI. Kailangan lang may account ka. Free lang naman yung paggawa ng account yan. Don't worry. Um, dun kami nag-search online. Pero hindi mo siya magagamit pag sa mga exams. Basta kailangan lang may strong connection ka ng internet para lang mag-load yan. Tsaka, there are times kasi na we need to encode also yung vitamins and minerals. Yung Phil FCT kasi, may mga vitamins and minerals siya na wala. As in, nakasulat. Not specified. So, hindi mo naman pwede ilagay sa lab report nyo na not specified dahil according to FCT, Phil FCT na online, not specified. So, we also use this um, website ng USDA, FDC, yan, Food Data Central. Diyan kami nag- to search ng mga food items. Mas kompleto yung dyan kasi may ibang mga food items like of course, kapag mag-compute ka yung food na yun, minsan luto na. So, may mga may mga food items yan na pwede mong search like garlic, cook, ganyan. Meron silang mga vitamins and minerals. Kompleto yung vitamins and minerals except sa iodine. Yung salt lang dyan ang merong iodine. Yung second year for SEM namin, we have meal management, assessment of nutritional status, and basic nutrition 2. So, yung sa basic nutrition 2, same references, mas gamit lang yung PDRI, since nandun yung vitamins and minerals, um, tsaka gamit din yung understanding, and blah, 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 understanding normal and clinical nutrition. Then, sa meal management, wala kaming masyadong references na ginagamit. Ang ginagamit namin for reviews is yung mga powerpoints na galing sa prof namin. So, talagang sa meal management, aasa kayo sa prof. So, yung mga powerpoint kasi na yun, meron, mga, meron na dun yung introduction sa meal management, um, types of services, different kinds of menu, ano ba yung ginagawa ng menu sa mga different restaurants, um, table setting, table appointments. So, sa assessment of nutritional status naman, we use the nutritional assessment by Lee and Neiman. Yan yung ginamit kong book. Yan yung pinaprint namin. Hindi namin ginamit yung isang reference. Yung isang reference kasi principles of nutritional assessment by Gibson. Ini-scan lang namin yan. Yung mga topics na dinidiscuss na wala sa book. May times kasi na wala sa isa sa nutritional assessment by Lee and Neiman. So, ini-scan yung part ng book na diniscuss. So, share-share na lang. Sharing is caring. Then, we also use pinaprint actually sa amin. Pinaprint sa amin yung WHO CGS or yung World Health Organization Child Growth Standard. Kailangan kasi yun sa mga assessment ng mga bata. Then, we also printed yung local version. National Nutrition Council Child Growth Standard. Mas konti ito compared sa WHO na CGS. Kasi yung WHO na CGS, parang 300 plus ata yung pages na yun. Back to back na yun ha. So, we also use sa ANS yung yung 8th National Nutrition Survey. Kailangan yung mga second year updated din kayo sa mga National Nutrition Survey kasi dinidis kasi yan sa assessment of nutritional status. Kasi, dyan makikita nyo kung ano ba yung nutritional status ng Philippines. Kung saan ba yung mga places na prone sa malnutrition, sa stunting, sa wasted. Wasted, hindi wasted na lasing ha. Wasted na malnourished. Tsaka, kung saan yung mga places na prone yung obese overweight, kanyan. At tinatakal din sa National Nutrition Survey is different ages. Hindi lang siya sa bata. May pregnant, meron mga elderly, teenagers. So, next is yung second year, second sem namin, which is natapos ko na. <laughs> natapos namin at last. So, yung subjects namin sa second year, second sem is food service system 1, nutrition, nutrition in the life stages, then, fundamentals of food technology and minor sources. May mga minors kami like biostat. So, yung sa food service system 1, we use the food service management principles and practices by Palacio and Thais. Yan yung itsura niya. 13th edition. So, nandiyan na lahat. Ito ako yung... Meron pala akong copy niya. Hindi ko pa siya napabookbind. 
Ano ba ba't itong... Siyempre, di ba, ECQ. So, hindi ko na siya napabukbay. Ayun siya. Nakikita niyo. So, hindi siya nakabukbay. Kaya nakalagay lang sa... Nakalagay lang siya sa envelope. Then, yung sa nutrition and... Nutrition in the life stages. We use the book Nutrition to the Life Cycle 6th edition. Ito siya. Ganyan siya kakapal kasi hindi ko siya nabak-tabak. Ako yung nag-print na yun. Dito sa Nutrition in the Life Stages, ang nandito lang is from preconception to infancy. Yung Nutrition to the Life, Nutrition in the Life Stages, um, ang tinakal namin dyan is preconception, conception, pregnancy, infant, tsaka preschool. Wala ko yung preschool na part, yung toddlers. So, isasama ko na lang siya sa next na pagpapaprint ko. Since uh, i-discuss sa next nutrition and the life stages 2 is yung, yun, yung childhood, um, adolescence, elderly. So, sa Fundamentals of Food Technology, we use this book, Practical Food Preservation and Processing by Sonido Chavez and De Leon. We are done. I hope nakatulong yung mga sinabi ko. Sinabi? Sinabi kong references sa mga incoming first year and second year. Sana makatulong ko sa pag-advance feed nyo if ever mag-advance feeding kayo. Um, sana makatulong rin to sa mga sa pagdating talaga ng pasukan. Makatulong siya sa inyo. Basically, lahat ng information na kailangan nyo is nandun na sa mga books na yun. So, sana makahanap kayo ng book. Kung hindi naman actual book, makahanap kayo ng PDF online. Sana makahanap kayo. Kasi yung mga books, kung si Sinicerox ko kasi, galing sa library yun ng USD. So, I hope you like this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. And click the notification bell for you to get notified whenever I post new videos. And comment down below if you have any suggestion na dapat kong gawin na nutrition related. And if you have any questions na related sa nutrition, just comment it down below. Or anything na question, just comment it down below. So this has been Nats. I hope nakatulong ako. I hope this is informative video. I'm sorry if it's kind of boring sa ibang tao na makakanood ito. <laughs> So yeah, this has been nice and maybe this is probably fast.